Let's talk about knife throwing. How to throw a knife versus the Hollywood stuff and should you actually throw a knife? My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. I have a giant knife collection and I absolutely love knives. You'll always find at least one knife on me clipped in my pants pocket, but depending on what I'm doing, I'll have a fixed blade knife and that fixed blade knife will be somewhere in the appendix position. So right now, what I'm carrying is the knock knife that I had created for me. And as you can see, it's here in the appendix position, clips to my belt. It's concealable, I can easily get to it. And it says it's concealable, nobody knows it's there. Now when it comes to knife throwing, we've of course all seen the Hollywood movies, it looks awesome, guy does a ninja throw, it spins like crazy and ends up on a guy's forehead and the criminal's dead. Obviously that's not how it works in the real world. Not gonna kill somebody, but the beauty of knife throwing is if you did it, it's not gonna feel good, it's gonna slow down the threat, they're gonna have something coming at them, so even if it doesn't go straight in, even if it hits him with the butt, you still distracted him. However, you would only throw a knife if you had another weapon to go to. Clearly, if it's some kind of attack or if it's a home invasion and a guy kicks in your front door and you grab your knife and you throw it and that's the only weapon you have around and it misses or he just blocks it or whatever, well, now you're in a world of hurt plus you can pick up your knife. So you'd only throw this knife when you have a weapon where you can transition to and go to. That's a very, very important key. Never throw a knife unless you've got a backup weapon. This right here is one of the many guns I carry. This is the six hour P365 Macro XL, XL Macro, I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's a 17 round newer version of the 365. So let's talk about how to actually throw this knife. If you said, okay, I've got a backup weapon, I'm ready to learn how to properly do it. Unlike Hollywood, it's not gonna be spinning. We're gonna do what is called a no spin throw. So to make it as easy as possible for you, it's not going to be spinning like a million times. So yes, for Hollywood, it's not going to be as cool. Also remember, when people throw knives, there are specifically designed throwing knives. Those throwing knives don't have any handles because they're perfectly balanced, the perfect weight and all that. Most likely you're not walking around carrying a throwing knife. I know I'm not. I know that all the, ah, this net's not going to let me go. I know that all of the fixed blade knives that I have are good survival knives, which all have some type of handle. In this case, it's a carbon fiber handle. I'm going to step back here, we're gonna use this tree. Now I probably picked the worst tree because it doesn't look like this tree is gonna very, be very stickable with my knife. But I was trying to game the system or if you're practicing this for the first time, take some cardboard boxes. Go to Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever your Amazon boxes of the million Amazon packages you order, stack them up. Obviously make sure there's a safe backstop like your wife or kids or whomever is not back there. But throwing into cardboard boxes is a great way to practice this, to train on it. and. Practice this is how you become good. Admittedly, I don't practice that much because I don't think I'm gonna throw a knife. So I know how to do it, I can do it, but I don't spend hours a day throwing into a cardboard box. Hey, if you discover this is your new hobby, all to you, do it. When it comes here, think about throwing a football. That's probably the easiest way, is you wanna follow through, you're throwing it straight. So when I throw this knife, I'm coming and I'm throwing it. Again, it's not gonna spin. I'm gonna throw and I'm gonna release it right around here when it's this way. My hand is gonna come down following through in a diagonal type of motion and we're gonna see if it sticks in this tree, which it may or may not because again, it doesn't look like this is the world's friendliest tree and I beat the heck out of my survival knife. There's only one way to find out. So here's how it would look. I'm sitting here, I come here and no, it didn't work. That was a bad throw. I come here, hey, it's stuck in the ground bad throw. And no, I'm not gonna go get my cardboard boxes. I'm not gonna do that to make it look easier. Remember, the beauty is, is that even if it doesn't stick, it's still not gonna feel good having a hunk of metal come at you. Wow, that one would have stuck if it was such a hard, or not a hard tree. Let's try again. Nope. We may be here till midnight. All right. As you just saw by my many misses, knife throwing is not the easiest thing, especially when you pick the world's hardest tree, but it's not gonna stick in there very well at all. So probably don't do it, but if you do do it, remember, come out, make sure you have something to transition to, that way you always have a backup weapon. Again, my name is Jason Hansen. If you wanna know more, more practical ways to keep safe, to protect your family, especially when it comes to guns, definitely click on the link below. I know you'll find it valuable. Also, please subscribe to my channel. It would greatly, I would greatly appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. And God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the day.